Did you know that over the last 30 years, healthcare costs have not only increased, but there hasn't been a proportional increase in quality of care? Everyone's a critic. How would you fix it? Well, I would start by making healthcare prices and costs more transparent. <sighs> See, prices are signals which convey information about scarcity and value, but between mandates, price controls, and third-party payers like government, employers, and insurance companies acting as middlemen, nobody even knows what they're actually paying for their care, and no one has much of a reason to be concerned. Without knowing what a procedure actually costs, patients have no way to shop around for better deals or alternatives. And without much competition, healthcare providers don't have any incentive to control costs or improve their services. If patients knew what their options were and what they were going to cost, and if we allowed healthcare providers to compete by offering different levels of service, different prices, and doing all the other stuff normal businesses do, everything would change. But Seamus, healthcare isn't a normal business. Competition? Prices? Nonsense! Ugh! But here's the thing, there are examples of healthcare providers working in that exact way. They're called retail clinics. What is a retail clinic? Retail clinics offer routine medical services that require a professional but not a full-fledged hospital or doctor's office. These services are administered by nurse practitioners and physician assistants. And these clinics not only provide the same quality of care as other medical establishments, they drive down healthcare costs drastically, saving on average between $40 and $300 on medical treatment per visit. Whoa! It sounds like these clinics have great potential to improve healthcare. They do. But unfortunately, driving down healthcare costs is a great way to make enemies with the AMA. I love AMAs. I get to ask my favorite personalities any question I want. Fun, right? But this kind of AMA stands for American Medical Association, not Ask Me Anything. And instead of allowing you to air your inquiries with your favorite public figures, they lobby the government to protect licensing and keep healthcare costs high. Oh, well that's not fun. That's not fun at all. No, it isn't. Naturally, the AMA is not in love with retail clinics and are trying to lobby to restrict them. We must push back against this. The healthcare industry is extremely complex and has many issues. To say there's one clear-cut, obvious solution would be asinine. But retail clinics have helped to greatly cut healthcare costs for people who are uninsured or struggling to afford their high deductibles, demonstrating that we need more entrepreneurship and freedom in the healthcare market so we can actually reconnect prices, increase competition, and improve healthcare for everyone. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this, check out fee.org for more information.